the West Indian Tobacco Company Limited and the Seamen and Waterfront Workers Trade Union signed off on a 6% wage increase for both hourly rated workers and monthly rated staff. The collective bargaining agreements were finalized on July 28th with a signing taking place at Whitco's head office in Champfleur. SWWTU President General Michael Anisset told Business Watch earlier today that negotiations took place over the course of two months and covered the period 2023 to 2025. Anisset says he was pleased with the innovative incentives that formed part of the collective agreement. We have been able to also upgrade the question of the, of the uh, health benefits even for workers who retire one and extend it to their families. You, you know, so the, um, those are some of what I want to call the um, new dynamics that we see within a collective bargaining. In a statement from Whitco today, Managing yeah. Director Raoul yeah. Glenn said the negotiations were transparent, respectful, and based on comprehensive data and its very competitive positioning in the market. Flying ships are on the horizon for Rams Logistics as the company signed a letter of intent to bring those vessels to the Caribbean and South America. Rams Logistics says this innovative collaboration will revolutionize shipping in the region by decreasing vessel costs, significantly cutting shipping time and reducing carbon footprint. CEO of the company Sean Rampasad says this project will be critical to connecting the Caribbean and South America by facilitating the movement of commodities, bridging the gap within CARICOM. Bill Peterson, CEO of Flying Ships, also commenting on this collaboration says Rams Logistics is going to create a high-speed distribution network using flying ships across the CARICOM that will enable delivery van size payloads to virtually anywhere with a coastline. And now for a look at today's energy and forex prices. Andrea Perez-Sobers, CNC3 Business Watch.